This video will show you how to calculate the slope of two points on a line. The only thing is now you do not have a graph, you have just the two points. So when you have just the two points, you have a point here and a point here on a given line. The first thing that we say to do is to label your coordinates. So what we say that negative 4 is the first x that we read. That's the x coordinate. So I'm going to put x1 for that. 1 is the first y that we read. So I'm going to put y1 for that. 13 is the second x that we read. Remember, x is always first in listed, listing coordinates. And 1 is the second y that we read so I'm going to put y2. Now you're ready to go. We have x1, y1, x2, y2. You notice all the ones, the ones stay together and the twos stay together. So we have the slope formula because we don't have a graph. We're not going to use rise over run. We have the slope formula here. It's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now it just becomes a substitution problem. y2 is 1 from here, we labeled it 1. y1 is over here, that's 1. Over, which means divide, x2, which is 13, and minus x1, all right, the minus sign is from the formula, the negative is from the problem itself. So it's minus a negative 4. And when you have back-to-back -back negatives, it's like using keep change change, back-to-back -back negatives, they become a positive. All right, so now you're ready to go. Um, it's 1 minus 1, which is 0. So your numerator on the top part of your fraction is 0. And then 13 plus 4 is 17. So... 0 divided by 17 is 0. So what you have is a line, I'll try my best here, that is a horizontal line. This has a slope of 0. Horizontal lines have a slope of 0. Let's go on to the next one. Same thing. X. 1, and this is a y, and that's the first y you read, so it's y1. This is the first x you read, uh, second x you read, that's x2. And this is the second y you read, that's y2. So the same thing, we're going to take this formula, and when you use this formula, when two points are given without a graph. So two points are given without that graph. So we are going to go ahead and we are going to substitute our, our uh, what we've labeled into this formula. So you have m, which is slope, equals y2, which is negative 8, minus y1, minus 2, which is y1. Oops, there we go. that over x2 which is 3 minus x1 which is 2 so negative 8 minus 2 is negative 10 and 3 minus 2 is 1 Anything over 1 is equal to the, just the numerator. So negative 10 over 1 is negative 10. So this line has a slope of negative 10. And when you look at this line on a graph, the line, you expect the line with a negative slope to go down from left to right. And that's what makes it negative. And that's the end of the video.